Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to learn about a specific Laravel concept called route model binding or model binding. And it's going to help us actually shorten the amount of code we write and improve our code quality. So uh, previously, when we wanted to delete our ideas, we had to basically search the database, right, using this var request, find our idea, and then call the delete function on it. Laravel actually has a more convenient way of doing this using the route model binding. And the way it works is actually very simple. All you have to do is tell Laravel what this ID is for, and I'll tell it it's gonna be an idea. And Laravel will automatically, using some cool magic in the background, go ahead and figure out that this ID is the primary key for some idea. So basically Laravel will do this part of the code for us in the background, so we don't have to actually do it. And it allows us to basically cut or remove all that code. So it makes our code shorter. Laravel will automatically inject the idea inside. Now, the variable name that you use here, this ID has to match the name you have used in your route. So uh, if I, for example, go ahead and change this to from ID to idea, this code will no longer work. I also need to change my route. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that. So these names need to match. I'll change this to idea. Here we have idea. So Laurel basically takes the ID, finds an idea matching that ID and adds it as an argument, right? So we no longer need to do it ourselves. And the only line of code we need is actually idea.delete, right? So our code is gonna be even shorter than it previously was. So I'll go ahead and I'll test this code. So we have right now 21 results. So I'll delete some of them. Now we have 20, I'll delete one more, we have 19. So as you can see, the functionality is same as before, but our code is actually shorter and I think it's more descriptive as well, right? So we are basically destroying or deleting an idea. Very straightforward. So now that we have actually come this far, let's do one more thing. I wanna actually create a page to uh, view a single idea, right? So I want to basically be able to go to slash idea and then one or two or three and view that single idea, right? Only one card. So let's go and actually implement that. I think it's going to be quite fun to do it. So I'll go ahead and I'll create the route for it first. So we have the ideas and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use show, show, and I'm going to say ideas dot idea. Now, the names here that I'm using, guys, is the same names that I showed you guys on the previous episode. So I'll go to the Laravel documentation for controllers. I'm using this name in convention, right? And Laravel recommends that you use the show when you're trying to view a single item for a resource, right? So I'm going to use the same name in convention. You can use whatever you like. Maybe you want to use view. It's totally up to you, it's not forced, but that's the name in convention in the Laravel community and what's shown on the documentation. So I'll follow that. And let's go and create this method actually. So I'll, I'll have it opt here. And I'm gonna say public function show. And I'm gonna use model view binding that we just uh, learned, model route binding. So I'm gonna say idea, idea, and uh, we don't have a route for it, a view file for it yet. So I'm just gonna for now say uh, ideas.show and then uh, yeah, I'll pass in our idea as well. So I'm gonna say idea equals idea. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually create this view. So if you can see, I wanna add uh, an ideas folder so in our views, I'll create a new folder. I'll name it ideas. And inside here, I'll name it show.blade.php. And I'm using the same name as our uh, controller function. So it's a bit easier to find it, right? And I'll go ahead and actually like, copy the code from our dashboard. And I'll remove some of the code we don't need for now. So I'll keep the sidebar. I'll later on, I'll refactor this. And I'm gonna remove, I'll keep all of those. But instead of having this for loop, I get rid of the for loop. I'll get off the pagination. I'll go like this. 
and I'll even actually remove the submit idea. I don't think we need it. So I'll just keep the idea card. And the idea card wants a variable named idea, which we already have. We're passing it down. So it should work out of the box. Now we do need to test it out. I'm not sure actually what's the ID for this guy. So uh, or we have to guess. I'll say we can actually add the link somewhere here. So for example, maybe I can add an eyeball here to view it. So next to the delete button, I add a new button. So I'll go here, I add a new button here. And I'm going to say view for now, later on, or maybe make it an A tag. Later on, we will improve this. And I'm going to have it point to the route ideas.show and I'll pass the idea.id. Basically, exact same thing we did for the delete. Okay, so let's go and reload the page. We can see it over here. It does look a bit weird. It's totally okay. We'll fix that uh, later on. For now, I'll just click on it. And we can see we're actually getting an error. So the route only suppo supports post and delete. So this means I made a mistake here. Yep, this should be a get. And again, guys, I'm not going to edit this out because I want you guys to see I also make mistakes. Uh, so all you have to do is once you get an error message, read what it's saying and then go ahead and fix it, right? So I'll change this into a get and I'm sure some of you noticed that early on and we're screaming at the video. And we have one more error. I think I forgot a semicolon. And now we should be able to see it. As you can see, now we have a single idea page. So that's it. We have covered create, read. We still have to cover update and yeah, we have covered creating a record, uh, deleting a record, reading a record. And the only thing we need to do is actually learn how to update it, right? Now, for the sake of simplicity, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'll include this inside our form. And I think this should improve it. Yep. And I'll have it be actually before the delete button. All right. And I'll give it margin start one. All right, now it looks slightly better. Uh, I don't care about the UI as of now. Later on, we'll improve it. But we have learned about uh, model binding, what it is, how to do it. And we did it for two operations, right? Viewing a single idea and also deleting an idea. And if we go and look at our controller, our code looks very short, guys. Look at how little code we have written for this, right? We don't even need to actually interact with the database. And a lot of your CRUD operations are going to be as simple as this. Uh, when using a lot of all. Now I do want to show you guys one more tip. Uh, if you guys have noticed this line of code looks a bit weird, right? We are using idea here, idea here. We can actually shorten this a little bit by using a, a function called compact and then passing in idea. So basically a lot of all will go and find a variable name that matches this string here, which is idea and create our associative array automatically for us, right? So this code is exactly identical to this, right? Because these two have the exact same name, we don't actually need to create the associative array. We can just use compact. And it's gonna save us some uh, time writing code, right? So it just saves time. And if we go and reload the page, uh, it works just like it did before. So functionality is the same, but we just write less code, which means we are more productive and we can ship things faster. And that is it, guys, for this episode. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.